So it brings up third down as Hennigan throwing right toward the chains and making the grab and keeping the possession alive for the Tigers is Javon Ivory. Five catches, 106 yards. Eclipse that number here as they try to move the chains for the second time on the opening possession. Hennigan drops a short pass off in the middle, as you said, and breaking loose with tons of room to run is Calvin Austin to third, and he will take it to the house. 55 yards, and the Tigers strike first. Hennigan looks, what a pass and what a catch in there by Calvin Austin. He had Romanik right on his hip, and they hook up for the first down. First and 10 now at the A-State 22. Hennigan across the middle of the field, finds his target, Sean Dykes, the tight end for a 22-yard touchdown. Now it's third and 16 for the Red Wolves. Hatcher again on the run, trying to get away from John Tate. Just has to throw it down the field, and somehow he finds his man. That was Alan Lamar who makes the catch. Well, the Memphis secondary has been great on this possession, locking down the receivers, but Hatcher ends up finding the running back for the big play. Now he takes a shot down the sideline, looking for DeValence Hunt, who tips it to himself, down the sideline, into the end zone for the 47-yard touchdown. Allowing Hennigan to get the ball out of his hands quickly on rhythm passes. Missed tackles. Yep, and Brandon Thomas is off to the races. They will not get Thomas as he goes in from 70. A two-play drive for the Tigers, and they get the score right back. This for A-State to try to get something off the turnover. Groupie's kick on the way, and it is good. good job. So Blake Groupie matches his career long with a 47-yard field goal. Back in A-State territory at the 40. Here's Dykes bouncing off a defender. He's got room down the sideline. Sean Dykes is going to take it in from 40. And the penalty comes back to fight Arkansas State in a big way. Lane pulls this one down. He's got some room to run. Touchdown. Breaks a tackle and goes into the end zone for a touchdown. Hatcher looking to the right. Hitting it and will come out at the 25-yard line. Still 90 seconds to work with. And Thomas is off to the races. It's a foot race with Sammy Johnson. Brandon Thomas is going to go 75 for a huge answer for Memphis after the A-State long scoring drive. The triangle does a great job of rallying to the football and holding that to a two-yard gain. On second and seven, looking deep, and this one's going to be hauled in and taken to the house. Calvin Austin goes in from 50. Another huge scoring play for the Tigers. Blackman showing off that strong arm. Now he's flushed out on first down, directed some traffic, throwing for the end zone. Caught That's in the good. back of the end zone by Corey Rucker for the 23-yard score. Now he'd have to cover 90-plus yards on this one. He drops back. He's going to air it out again, looking for Foreman. Back to the middle of the Got field. It. He makes the catch, breaks the tackle. Foreman trying to win a foot race to the end zone. He goes toward the pylon, and he is in. Jeff Foreman. On second down, we'll play action. Hennigan finds Austin, and he is off to the races again. Another. Calvin Austin, the third, is going to go from 75. Another monster play, another answer for the Tigers as they wrestle the momentum right back again. Blackman rolls right, throws end zone, caught touchdown. Adam Jones for the touchdown. Excellent route versus man coverage. Memphis is going to double cover him. So Blackman goes the opposite direction and throws a touchdown. This with the Hayes again. With Dahu split out by himself. By himself, Memphis went over there and double covered him, but it left the flat open on the left side. Great call by Keith Heckendorf, and an excellent job of James Blackman delivering the ball for the touchdown. 